What's up guys, starting today's video. Today we're working on the coupe because yesterday I took the car out to go drive because it was really nice out and the car just started sputtering. It actually died on me and then it started backfiring and stuff like that. Um, I did have a check engine light for a cold nine, which is a cylinder sensor which is pretty much leading towards the dizzy. Everybody kept telling me to replace the dizzy, which I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. But I've been pushing it back for quite some time now because the check engine light just disappeared um, after diagnosing the wiring and figuring out um, the conversion for the dizzy from OD2 to OD1. Um, two of the pins were pushed out and wasn't pushed all the way in. So I'm gonna push that all the way back in. Got the code nine again after checking. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna replace it. So now we got the new Dizzy on with the MSD setup, but now the car wouldn't start. If you guys know about the whole MSD um, SS setup, it pretty much replaces the igniter on the Dizzy and use the MSD setup. So from what I'm thinking is that the igniter or this MSD setup also went out as well. Not just the Dizzy itself, but it's the MSD setup that was going out and that's what's causing all the issues. So right now, I'm gonna tear everything apart, bring it inside. We're gonna rewire a couple things, put everything back to normal, and then we're gonna put this Dizzy back onto the car and hopefully it starts. Cause uh, that is what I'm thinking is going on. Um, I did get a code for a distributor, so hopefully this is it. So. I'm about to start taking off some wires. All right, guys. So this is day three working onto the coupe. It is Wednesday. The Dizzy went out on Monday. I worked on it on Monday night. And I was basically uh, just swapping parts over. So this is the new Dizzy. New. This is the Dizzy I had for like about five years. Just sitting on the back burner. And just, you know, sitting as spare parts. And I was like, you know what? I have a Dizzy laying around. Let me try this one. So I threw this one on with the MSD setup. Um, basically, the MSD uh, replaced the coil that's on top of where the distributor and um put it on cranked it up nothing no spark so i took out the msd igniter put the regular or not igniter but took the msd uh, coil setup out and then did a regular distributor coil same thing no spark and then i got me a test light which is probably in the car now but i got me a test light and i did a few tests one of the tests i did was pull this cap off and check for a spark right here so that it wasn't sparking right there so i was like okay maybe the coil is bad and then i did another test which was um putting it to ground for the uh test light hit these two uh pins right here which is positive and negative and see that they're you know lighting up and stuff like that so you know it's getting what it needs to get for right there so that's good and then i watched the video and they said that you could test it one more time by unplugging um i think it is negative on top and then do the test light onto positive run the uh, test light onto this pin where that positive or, or no the negative and put the positive there and have the car crank and see if it flickers it didn't flicker at all so not only is the coal bad on this dizzy the igniter is bad as well with all the tests that i've done and you know looking on youtube and stuff like that this dizzy is bad I mean, I could probably replace the igniter and the coal and probably get this one working. But at the same time, with the price that I'm paying for an igniter and a coil, I could just get another dizzy and just slap it right in. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look into parts like the igniter and the coal and combine that stuff. If I could save myself a couple bucks doing it that way, I will do that way. Because the rotor that rotates around in here is looking good. Like it looked like it, it was barely used. But when I did open this, since it's been around for five years, it does look like some of the parts in here has been swapped at one point. I'm not surprised because they didn't have the... Um, there's usually a cover that sits inside here. That cover was completely gone when I opened it up. So um, there's that. So definitely got to do another cap and rotor. Definitely got to do another igniter for this and another coal if I want to get this car up and running again. So what's up, guys? As you guys can tell, we're in the game room right now. Just want to give you guys a quick recap on um, the whole situation. with all. So both distributors are bad. My original distributor went out on me um car limped home barely limped home and then the new distributor that i have my spare part that i have laying around for five years has a bad coil and it has a bad igniter uh, i'm not too sure if i need if i could replace those parts and have it pretty cheap and just have a spare uh, dizzy around or i'm gonna just be switching over to a burton racing coil uh 
cop setup a coil on plug setup if you guys don't know what a cop kit is um i think that's the plan we're just gonna do a cop kit and you know get rid of all the distributor issues but the thing is after reading a couple forums and seeing um what sensors are inside of a distributor it's basically a cylinder sensor crank position sensor and top dead center sensor now they're all just like little rotor like wheels that just spin in there and i don't know if they can go bad but um as far as i know the new distributor has a bag um coil and igniter i'm not too sure if the barton racing uh cop kit would need to have a good igniter in it or not or it just needs to run off of the you know, the cylinder sensor crank sensor and the top dead center sensor so I'll, i'm gonna look into more of that um once the kit does come in but i do have my original distributor that i know for sure the igniter is good it just hasn't been used in a while or it's just all in pieces right now that i need to put back together um just in case if you know that part needs to be um be in the distributor itself Instead of me buying another distributor, taking out the cap, removing all the internals, and then, you know, do the cop kit. But, yeah, that is the plan right now is to do a cop kit. I'm saving up to do a uh, cop kit in it. should be fairly simple. I also have Brian uh, in the group chat that will be able to help me, um, you know, wire in the cop kit into the ECU. And then we just got to do the setup onto the distributor. And then put everything together then it should work so um that is the plan i don't know how long that's gonna take but our car our very first car meet is coming up in like three weeks i would like to have the car done by then but um don't want to rush things i want to get things right and um if it needs to have a cop kit we'll do a cop kit or if i could find a really cheap uh, distributor that i can use and it will start the car and have no issues i'll probably run off that but to solve this whole issue with the distributor and stuff like that, I'm also just do a cop kit and then um, go from there. But um, yeah, both distributors are bad. The MSD uh, ignition coil setup went bad as well. Um, but I just know that one igniter is working for sure and the other one is not. So I'm not exactly too sure what's going on. I know this distributor is bad because it threw up a code for a cylinder sensor which is this one right here is my original one and the cylinder position sensor is actually inside i don't know if you guys can see it but it's literally inside is one of those wheels in here and that is what reads the cylinder sensor so this one's bad and so it looks like my new one it didn't throw a cold for it at all it just has a bag igniter and coil so i'm pretty sure everything else internal of that coil is okay so if I do get the Burton Racing cop kit, they're actually sold out right now. Um, it should work perfectly fine with the new uh, Dizzy setup that I have. And it's actually VTEC and it's OBD1, which is really nice. Because I don't have to, you know, cut the ear off like this one that they did. And, um, you know, run perfectly fine, hopefully. Hope you guys like today's video. I try to explain it the best I can and not go into a tangent and talk about other stuff. But like this video comment below and if you guys made it to the end of the video just so i know you guys are watching till the end it's been a while since i've recorded a video but i'm out peace